What's up guys, welcome to Wasted Space, and today we're back in Space Engineers, back in my survival world, and with a new little toy I've created. Uh, I don't even know why I made this one, it doesn't have much of a practical purpose. Um, other than, yeah, I suppose. You can move things around with it, right? Um, but yeah, what it is, is a cable car. And I think it's quite cool. So we're just running across to the station I've built for this. This is kind of, as usual with me, it's it's not a complete project. It's uh, a concept that I plan to expand on. And I'll go a little bit into uh, how I intend to expand on it uh, near the end of the video, but there's a little sneak peek on the front there, uh, back with the sensors again. But anyway, yeah, this is basically a small ship sitting on top of a single block large ship rail. And in order to make everything fit together, I have obviously got a small ship and I built wheels on it, but I built those wheels on pistons. And with a decent amount of trial and error in the control panel, you should be able to see that uh, these pistons are all set up with very, very specific distances. So 0.65 and then grouped for bottom and sides so that I could maneuver this ship on top of the rail and then clamp the sides on. And I'll demonstrate that a little bit once we get sort of near the end here. Um, and then initially I was using this with the wheels powering it along the rail. And while that works and it goes really quite quickly, it's really unstable. As soon as I use the thrusters instead, and this is literally just one and two are set up so that I've got number one turns the thrusters override on, turns the box on and off basically. And number two is a handbrake for the wheels. So that when we arrive into the station as we are here, and I've hopefully got the uh, cut out just right so that we fit in here, Yep, in we come, and then when you're ready to stop, you just hit number two, and it actually stops quite quickly, and with a little bit of a sort of bounce, because everything is almost on suspension, and nice, I've almost lined up the uh, the connector right there as well, but uh, let me jump out and show you a li little bit closer how we went and put this together. Unfortunately, and what I normally like to do, if possible, is to have some clips to sort of cut to, to show how I was building it, as I was building it, but unfortunately... I got a bit carried away, so just moving it out into the light. But yeah, so unfortunately, I'm just going to have to show you around. Uh, so what we, we built the top first, and we started off up here, and kind of built a frame around the, the spar, and we put wheels on it. And these wheels, it's important that they're the suspension one, because they then they roll properly and they have a bit of a give to them. But we also put them on pistons, small ship pistons. So the entire thing's a small ship, and it's got two wheels either side, so those two either side, the four on the top which were originally the drive wheels, and then three on the bottom because uh, it seems that rocking back and forth as you stop is, is the main issue and the main bit you want to sort of counteract using these sort of wheel suspension systems. Uh, and then, as you saw briefly just there, I attached a sort of cargo connector system on the bottom so that it could link up and be used to move cargo from platform to platform and just built this sort of Arrivals hanger out here near some of the asteroids we are uh, mining around. And yeah, so if I jump into these cockpits, we've got one for each direction. Because uh, you don't really want to be looking the wrong way when you're driving. And if I jump in here, I can then show how these pistons work. So eight and nine of the two piston groups. And if I press that, you can see the ones on the sides are now pulling back. And we got ones on the bottom. But you can also see that they're actually compressing as they come in contact. So they're really quite forcefully holding us in position. And uh, it's only by doing that and setting the amount just right that I've been able to get this thing to run smoothly along the rail. Now, the last thing I'll say is, as I said, it, originally I had the, um, the wheels on the top as the form of propulsion. And while that did work, it was pretty unstable. And, and this is kind of more important, you can't control wheels through an override. There's no way of making them run without you in the cockpit. Thrusters, however, you can do that. <clears throat> so the idea behind this, as I hinted at earlier, is this sensor at the back and one that's going to be on the other side will detect the wall that's incoming and apply the brakes. As soon as they've applied the brakes, they then switch through a timer block, say a minute later, and turn on the engines going the other direction. So this thing just sits there running backwards and forwards down this line, sensors stopping it at each end, and after a minute sending it back the other way. And there you have the sort of beginnings of an automated transport system. So some point in the future I'm going to come back when this is a bit more polished off 
because uh, I also have some ideas for how to get it to turn corners. Uh, and then we can have a look at the, the results of a full automated transport system. But anyway, I hope you uh, like the little early concept. I kind of dress it up a little bit with some seats and so on as well. I feel you kind of have to. And yeah, hope you enjoyed that, guys. If you did, please leave me a like. Maybe even consider hitting that subscribe button. It really helps me out. If you've got any thoughts for what you want to see in the next speed build video, hit me up down below. Really need some ideas for that. Building space engineer stuff in 10 minutes. Anything goes, as long as it's just about feasible. Cheers for watching, guys, and I will catch you next time.